Over the years, many of you have gotten up early, driven out to the Padre Island National Seashore to watch the release of those Kemp's Ridley sea turtle hatchlings. Very cute, always remember that. But as Island Moon newspaper publisher Dale Rankin tells us in this week's Island Report, things have changed a lot for this turtle nesting season. One of the changes the COVID virus has brought to the island is how sea turtles are released at Padre Island National Seashore. For years, crowds in the thousands came to the National Seashore to watch Kemp's Ridley hatchlings make their dash into the surf. People came from all over the country to see this life-affirming ritual. But all of that came to an abrupt stop this season as the COVID virus made the gathering of large crowds impossible. This is what a turtle release looks like now. Dr. Donna Shaver was there, and so were 144 hatchlings who made their run. But the crowds were not. In uh, 1963, Dr. Henry Hildebrand found a very famous film, it later became famous, a very important film that showed an estimated 40,000 Kempsterly turtles nesting on this one stretch of beach. This is that video. Taken in 1947 and discovered in 1963, it began the Kemp's Ridley program that has now been under Dr. Shaver's direction for 40 years. The idea was simple. Don't put all of your turtle eggs in one basket. We in Corpus Christi have a lot to be proud of. We've had a major role in the conservation of this species for decades. This is the payoff. A long line of turtles winding their way to the sea. It's just that, at least for now, they do it without a large audience. But the turtles don't seem to mind. For 3 News and the Island Moon newspaper, I'm Dale Rankin, and we'll see you on the island.